Today will go down in history as the Big Funko Fake Out. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's eye, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around. Like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel along, we are together. Yes. So where were you during the big Funko fake out? I'll tell you where I was. I was sitting in front of a gas station waiting for this Funko Pop to go up for sale. And I don't typically buy things on my phone. And I used my phone to order my Funko Pop, my two Spideys that were on Funko Shop today. That's what we're talking about. If you didn't catch that yet, I don't think I mentioned it. You keep saying today, but this video is going up tomorrow. Oh, right, right. So the Spideys that went up yesterday. Yeah. No, Spidey, well, God, this maybe, is such a confusing video. Maybe we're, maybe a Spidey went up today, though. Oh, man, now we're really going to... Anyway, I was on my phone, and I had to hand jam all my information. Hand jam? That's normally what you call it when you shove your... Okay, don't do that. You gotta make everything dirty all the time. And then you Hey, you no, know, it's enough. Stop being so gross. Anyway, I hand jammed all my information into my phone and it took me forever to get my, sp stop doing that. Anyway, I was able to check out and get my Spider-Mans and I was so happy because right after they sold out, what, it took like two minutes? Uh, yeah. They sold out in two to three minutes. I saw some people that got them and I saw a lot of other people who didn't get them. And you know what it reminded me of? What? Old school Funko. Remember the days where we came in front of the camera? Where we what? Remember the days where we sat in front of the camera? There you go. Thank you. And we talked about how things were trash because we missed out, or we just yelled simply because we missed it and we wanted it, so we cried about it? Yeah, or we celebrated and said, suck it because we got it and you didn't, ha ha ha. Did we really do that? As a joke, we didn't really feel that way. God, we are a bag of Anyway, for that little tiny moment, it was super exciting to see Funko back in its heyday when things would sell out on Funko Shop and people would freak out. Question, what's a heyday? Because it sounds like something a horse would really enjoy. I said hand jam and I said heyday. I never use either one of those. I have no idea where they came from. I feel like I've been talking like an elderly person. I think so too. Google, what is a heyday? Here's the definition of heyday. The period of a person's or thing's greatest success popularity or bigger. So I was on point with that. You were on point. A period of a person or thing's success. As soon as we all got excited, people were freaking out. Spider-Man went back up for sale. Mm. And he's still there and he hasn't sold out because Funko made 50 billion of them again. Yeah, so I just want to note that it's currently 5.20 p.m. on Monday, the day that the Spider-Man went up. So when you're watching this, it might not still be up. I don't know. Can't predict the future. Most likely will be up because, like you said, Funko makes a ton of these things. This Funko Pop is an absolute grail for me. I particularly like when superhero characters have their masks off. This one happens to be battle damaged even better. So I was really excited about this Funko Pop and seeing that it sold out for those couple minutes, I was actually believing that it did sell out. It was very exciting because one, there's no chase variant and two, it's not, it's Marvel. Oh, it's not anime. It's anime. Not Weak. What, what's it not? Anime. Okay, I regret that. And typically pops with chases or that are. I can't do it again. My throat's hurting. You gotta do it again. <laughs> they typically sell out. Also, it almost sounded like you were saying Aunt May, which <laughs> would be... That goes very well with this video. It would go very well with Spider-Man, yeah. You know what we need now? Aunt May! What we need is a dead Aunt May to go along with our battle damage Spider-Man. Okay, can we stop doing like morbid characters? I mean, I am a fan of horror. I am a fan of like the Headless Herschel. Remember that? Yep, where, where he's dead. His head's cut off and that's pretty f***ed up. But 
leave Aunt May out of this. Anyway, this Fungo Pop was super popular because it sold out. I, we don't know the amount that sold out because it went up for sale like just minutes after it was sold out. Word on the street, when I was looking for comments to collect, and yes, I collected some comments, you're welcome. I didn't collect any of these because I just wanted to discuss it. A lot of people were saying that they felt like Funko forgot to add a zero somewhere. Oh. So maybe they put up 1,000 instead of 10,000, or maybe 1,500 instead of 15,000, something like that, 2,000 instead of 20,000, maybe 5,000 instead of 50. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, would you? No. Funko's doing too much, man. Too much and not enough. But today was the first time we felt hype in a very long time. Now, I know we've had some hype over the last few months with anime Funko Pops, but this was something entirely different. As you mentioned, this is a Spider-Man Funko Pop. So seeing that it sold out made me super excited. I felt like, you know what? Funko is coming back, baby. They're finally selling things that are not anime, do not have a chase. We're getting somewhere finally. And then they just slapped us right in our face and they put up a bajillion of them at which they have not sold out yet. The Funko fake out is real. And I, again, I don't know if this is on purpose or if this was something that was accidental. I don't know. It, to me, it felt like it was a test. Like Funko was trying to test something. My expectations were they'd put them up the first time and then we would get it like a second or third time. And then we would see more pop up later, maybe this week, the same way that they did Pietro. But they didn't go that route at all. Well, I think Pietro, they waited like a few weeks or maybe even a month or two. Exactly. And that kept the hype up. Now, although I don't want fake hype with a Funko Pop, it was nice to have some sort of hype today, even if it was fake for just a few minutes. Funko, you really need to figure out this whole hype thing. It used to be so exciting to collect these things and, and the, the excitement for collecting is gone. Yeah, it's too easy to get the items now and it's not really what collectors want. Right. And I understand that they have to make their stakeholders happy, but they also need to make the people purchasing their product yeah. happy. Otherwise, there will be less people purchasing. Like, I've been seeing so many people say, like, I'm done with Funko. I don't want to collect Funko. Oh my God, me too. I've been seeing so many people. People in our comment section. There was a couple people in our comment section that literally said, I'm only watching you guys because I like watching you guys. You guys are funny. I'm not here for the Funko stuff anymore. And basically, they have unsubscribed from anything else that's Funko except for us because well, they like our nice. com because they like our comedy. Thank you. I mean, some people think we're funny, believe it or not. It's kind of weird. Just a couple, though. It's like maybe yeah. like three or four. There was one guy that reminded me very aggressively that we are not funny. He really? wanted us to know. Yeah. Hashtag um, piece of I'm going to have to beep that. But he is a hashtag piece of he might be telling the truth. We're not that funny. Mm, we're pretty cringe. We're known for being cringe. I don't know about that. You know, you know what's cringe? What? Having a Funko Pop sell out for two minutes and then go back up. Yeah, that was sort of shitty. I don't understand Funko anymore. <laughs> Instead of like doing all this fake out shit, they could actually make limited pieces and make collecting fun again. Like that's where they're going to keep people in the hobby. Yeah. I have been thinking something that one of the comments I collected has been saying for a very long time. Mm. But I don't want to say it and spoil it because I can't wait to read the comments. Okay, but first make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button because it helps this channel in a very big way. Follow us, check us out, watch all of our videos. We're sure you'll like at least one of them. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully we help you or make you laugh in some way. And also head over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash castlecast and find out all the ways that you can support this channel. Your support means the world to us and allows us to do a lot of really great things. So check out patreon.com slash castlecast. So one thing I can safely say before we get into the comments is that this Funko Pop was grail worthy. If they had limited this thing, this thing would have gone down in history as being like a very top tier Funko Pop. This is a great pop. The it battle really damage, is. like we don't get this that often. I understand why they made a ton of it though, because yeah. everybody wants the No Way Home Funko Pops. Again, it's going to be hard to limit it. Huge character. Huge character. And huge movie. Very exciting. And by the way, did you see the Funko Pop looks just like him? Yeah. It has the blood and the hair Unlike all Unlike the stuff. Toby one. Exactly, yeah. But it looks just like him. I love this Funko Pop so much. I really loved when I thought that it sold out. It just made it so exciting for me. But now I want to hear what people are saying in the comment section because I'm sure they got some rowdy stuff to say. It's wild. It's like a roller coaster. Yeah. It's like up, then down, then a loop-de-loop -loop or a couple of them and it's just really f***ed up from there. I pulled these comments from a couple different sources. They're all from disc trackers, but 
they're from different posts. So initially he went up and these comments are from that post. How is it already sold out? What? Yeah, I think a lot of people were thinking that. Sold out within minutes, LMAO, bots always got it, laugh emoji. This is a transition, so it's first sold out, but then it transitions into not sold out. And I only collected it because I really like the response. Okay. Sold out while in my cart. And then the person replied, go get it now, player, it's there. <laughs> Ugh, had in my cart and sold out. And then there's this douchebag, easy dub. Oh my God, there's so many people saying that oh, today yeah. after they got it. Yeah. Everybody always has to let you know how easy it was for them. Yeah. And it's one of those flexing well, I, things that yeah. just annoys the crap out of me. It's while well, everyone else is complaining. I guess it's like they feel like they won the race. Yeah. But we're buying product, like who cares? Yeah. I don't know, it's just weird to me. It's very weird. I mean, it's I had like, a hard time, I struggled. I was like a little turtle, but I got to that finish line. Like a turtle on its back? <laughs> I figured it out. Like, I got there, but it took me a long time to get there. So this was on Dish Tracker's post where it sold out. He posted a screenshot of it saying sold out, and in the caption he said, wow, he only lasted three minutes. Yeah. And of course there were a lot of that's what she said jokes. Ah, right, yeah. And then there's this one. This is my favorite. LMAO, that's more than I would have last. Way meant. Whoa, all right. <laughs> and then this is when he went back up. Well, that was a quick restock. Damn, they must have made a lot. Mm -hmm. No one can complain about not getting one now. Oh, yeah. And then this is the comment that I was talking about. People used to whine that things sold out too fast. Yes. Now, people b that it doesn't sell out fast enough. 100% true. Yeah. 100% so true. So it's like no matter what Funko does, they can't win. Damned if they do, damned if they don't. And I've been saying things like this for a long time. At the time that things were selling out, I remember us being on this channel and talking about how it sucks if we missed it, but we love seeing things sell out because oh, yeah. the hype is there, the excitement is there, and that is what we really want in, in this community. That's the fun part of all this, right? Oh, yeah. We can buy the little trinkets all day long and say, oh my God, we all have the Spider-Man, that's cool. But if you make too many of these things, it's not fun anymore. If we all want to buy a common Spider-Man, that's great, but there should be some sort of special variant. Exclusives should be exclusive. Right, and and they, sh they should be limited. Yes, they should be more limited than commons. Sometimes with some of these exclusives, it feels like they're more common than commons. Absolutely agree with that. And that's the real bad part of all this, is that they're making way too much of everything. Mm -hmm. The only thing that they're limiting now is NFT Funko Pops. We can all agree on that. And the bags and the Funko Pops. For the most part, yeah. For well, the most part. Occasionally, like the Huckleberry Hound with the bull. Okay, yeah, sure. But most of that stuff is in the 3,000 count range. Yeah. Nothing low, like in the hundreds or like a thousand. That's like yeah. in the past now. And when people would complain before about things selling out, you and I would say, well, this is the this is what it is. It's that's what this whole collecting thing's about. Yeah. That's the fun part about all this, the mm -hmm. chase. And people would we would read off all these comments where people are just complaining and slamming. And so you're absolutely right. I think Funko got themselves in a hole now because they were too busy listening to the community that you need to make more. They are making more, and now it's the opposite. Yeah. You're making too much, and now it's not limited enough, so I'm not in it anymore. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for me. I really like the NFT stuff because it's fun. You have a hard time getting all the cards, then you have to open the packs, it's all by chance, and then you have to collect the set to complete the royalty. Love that! A lot! And that's what makes it fun for me. And I understand if you don't like it, and you can complain in the comment section all you want. All I'm saying is, that is the fun part of Funko collecting now. It is no longer me going to Target and waiting in line or trying to buy something. Remember the fun of finding a Chase Pop on the shelf? Yeah. Or the days of being willing to stand in line at Hot Topic starting at like 7 a.m., hours and hours before they opened because you knew that they had a really cool pop coming out that day. Exactly. Remember when you stood in line for Flocked Panda Pool? I did it three times. Was it really it worth it? It was, no, that? never worth it. And I stood in line three times and never got it. Yeah. But the, anyway, the point is, is that the fact that Funko is making too much of everything now is bad, but people are going to complain either way. Yeah. They're going to complain that they missed it, which we saw a lot of today. Mm -hmm. I saw it all over social media. 
and then we see people complaining that it didn't sell out. You're seeing both of those things occur today with this one Funko Pop. People complaining it sold out, and then people now complaining that they made too much. Yeah. So we get both flavors today. You just read a roller coaster of emotions. Yes, and there are a lot of people, and I just want to put this out on the table because it's something that I just thought was interesting that I want to bring up. There's a lot of people saying, well, flippers are the ones that are complaining that it didn't actually sell out. And that's not true. There's people like us who get excited knowing that something sold out because that just means that the Funko Hunt is a hunt to get. It's Absolutely. fun. It's harder to get. Absolutely. And that's the way that collecting should be. And yeah. unfortunately, they faked us out today. It's really frustrating knowing that these things aren't as collectible. Is that the bad word to use? They're not as fun to collect as they used to be. But I saw today that there's going to be a Blacklight Bigfoot. Yeah, it's like he's a, out at, he's a, already a sold out. at HQ yeah. or something. That's fun. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of those HQ exclusives build fake hype because they are at Funko HQ, but they produce a f ton, so they sit on the HQ shelves after the first, like, couple of days. Yeah. Why couldn't they put, like, a 3,000 sticker on that, on that Bigfoot? I saw somebody today trying to trade NFT Funko Pops, high-end ones, for that Bigfoot. Why? Because he wants it that bad. But that's a horrible move. I mean, uh, Well, I'm just saying, like, there is some hype there. Like, there is I a mean, little tiny bit of hype. Yeah, but when people realize, oh, shit, I, I know, traded yeah. a really high-end pop for something that they can get in March or April, potentially. The hype is gone, Heather. Yeah. I think we should just understand. The hype is gone. Funko is not what he used to be, and I'm hoping that Funko can find a way to come back and be exciting and fun again. I think the Funko NFT stuff does help in a way, at least with some of the collectors. I would like to see more limited pieces. I know this is a constant cycle of us talking about this, but today this really energized the thought of having limited pieces because there was incredible amounts of hype around the Spider-Man Funko Pop and then it just went back up for sale again and it's not limited, it's not special, it's not any, it's, the fun sucked right out of the room. But I will say that that is one of my favorite looking Funko Pops. I'm super, super excited about it. It doesn't take away anything there, but it would have been a much nicer if this thing sold out really fast and we were all trying to chase it. If I missed it today, I would have been super bummed out, but I also would have been really excited and happy. When the Wednesday sold out mm -hmm. on Funko Shop, I was super excited to see that happen. Oh my gosh, me too. The common and the exclusive sold out. That was Cool. It really was. And honestly, I'm still shocked over that because I feel that the hype surrounding the show means that they made a f ton. Yeah. But it hasn't really gone back up. I know. So I don't what's, know. what's up there? I like, don't know. Like, did they put their full amount on the website Maybe. for the most part? And, of course, at HQ in Hollywood because we have seen them there. But, that, like, that would be really cool. Yeah. I don't know. I would like to know what you guys think about this. And what, what are your thoughts? Like, it going up and then selling out and then going back up and not selling out. Are you happy or sad that this happened? Are you happy that, hey, it didn't actually sell out. I was able to get it freely on the website. A lot of people like that. They like to go yeah. on the website and just buy what they want. It's And fun. not have to deal with the battles. Yeah, it's fun to get what you want at retail. But at the same time, it's really fun knowing that what you're collecting could potentially gain some value. Gain which, value has hype. Yeah, if it sold out today, it would have value and it would have that hype. Right, and that's been a part of sort of the Funko equation since the very beginning. And now that equation has been completely wiped out and I feel like we're watching Funko Decay and sometimes I really worry, and I'm being serious about this, this is no joking, sometimes I feel like our videos about Funko dying recently is only adding to the problem. Probably. <laughs> I mean, but so is Funko know. not like doing too much. I know. Come on, Funko. I want you to be good again. But all we're saying is bring limited back, Funko. That's what we want to see. And we want to know your thoughts and more out there in the comment section down below. Head over to poppinofftoys.com and use promo code GASOCAST to get 10% off of your order. You can buy Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, Funko Mystery Minis. they got all sorts of cool stuff over there. So check them out, poppinofftoys.com, promo code GASOCAST to get 10% off. And if you're a patron at level 4, you get 15% off. So don't forget to use your codes. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our amazing patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to... FunkoFan626, Moondoggy16, Eddie Hamill, Richard Perez, Calvin Lee, Derek, Tino Mold. Donato, Trish and Raj, Joshua G, and Michael Petrino. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock.
thank you so much for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. You guys are amazing. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.